Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I am home from my Las Vegas vacation and it is time to get after some fish. We got a beautiful spring day here in East Tennessee and best of all, low winds today, man. Ever since I got back home, the wind has been cranking, but not today. So I'm gonna drop us some baits down, set here a few hours and we're gonna see what we can catch today. So what I've done is I've, I've come out here to the entrance of this creek now this creek it looks like it starts back over yonder where the land is but back in the day before they made the reservoir here this is where this creek dumped out and i'll show you here on the map best i can i know there's probably a glare here with the sun way it is but that's that old creek bed right here and then it dumped off to the main river channel out here to my left so i'm gonna set here on the top of the drop right here right before it falls off real sharp any fish that come up here to feed or come out of that creek they work their way out they're gonna be swimming through these baits now bait today boy the the bait fish haven't welcomed me back to tennessee but gosh i struggled man but i've got some crappie both alive and dead and i've got some bluegill both live and dead so we're going to do a combination a mixture of both and hopefully these catfish they swim along man i hope they got a taste for bluegill or crappie and if they do we're gonna reel them in today y'all so come with me let's have some fun so i'm getting us a couple pieces of cut bait here first i'm gonna use two bluegill these are smaller bluegill so what i've done here is i've cut the tails off and basically just cut some slits in them there <clears throat> goodness gracious cut some slits in them there if i get my words out y'all i'm it's allergy season, y'all. <laughs> my allergies cleared up a little bit while I was out there in the desert, but as soon as I got off the plane to get home, man, it's like it's right back to snotting and sneezing and throat and everything else. So anyway, y'all don't care about that. But I'm gonna put these cut baits on the left side of the kayak. The right side, we'll put us some live baits on. These are gonna be on suspend rigs today. I'm gonna have a stinger fly. These are catfish sumo bait stalker flies dangling down below these baits. So we got our 10 ounce size circle hook bait and that there below, that's on a eight ounce egg sinker. And we're just dropping this down vertical right here under us. So 41 feet deep. These baits will be down there about 38 feet deep. And hopefully we get some fish come up over this drop these baits gonna be right there in their face when they do so got that done let's get our live baits on and it will really be a business my net's about too big for my bucket there y'all yeah this in here this is a nice crappie right here we'll catch some flack for this he's a lively one too buddy let's just run that hook right through his back crappie here in east tennessee are a legal bait as long as they 10 inches and this one is well beyond that so there he is let's see if we can get him over here in the light a little better so y'all can see his color this is a good looking crappie right here man this is a nice one right there nice specimen of a crappie hopefully some big catfish gonna gobble him up He's wound on that hook. Ain't you go down there and act like that fish, it's going to cause you to have a bad day, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we'll get him down there, and I'm going to get a bluegill out of the bucket. And we'll be set, y'all. And here goes our bluegill right there. Smaller bluegill, but, well, beggars can't be choosers, and that's what I got. Yesterday afternoon, the wind was a nightmare. Couldn't catch any skipjack. I couldn't find any shad, but I found me a brush pile. I had some bluegill and some crappie, kind of out of the wind just enough where I could throw that ultralight rod a little bit, work a jig. I found them there on the live scope. So I sat there and picked off what I could on that brush pile. I said, you know what? It's good enough. It'll get me on the water day. Bluegill ain't my favorite bait by any stretch of the imagination. I catch fish on it though. So <laughs> we got baits in the water. We got a chance by gosh. So let's kick back, relax, see what we can reel in. Got action on this back rod, man. Something's after that bluegill. I think something's got him. Yeah, that bluegill ain't taking that rod over like that. Oh goodness, let me get that rod out. Fish number one, y'all, live bluegill. My cut bluegill got a little 
love tap a little while ago, but didn't hook up. This one here, he's on, or he's on the fly under that bluegill one. He's on the fly. He's knocked my bluegill off and got that fly in the tail. This fish here is so dumb. He, he couldn't even get a free meal out of me. That's how dumb this fish is. You ain't coming in, buddy. If you're so stupid you get hooked in the tail, you don't come in the kayak. And there he goes. Fish number one, don't even count y'all. <laughs> we lost our live bait. That's okay, I got another bluegill in the bucket there. We'll stick on. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully the next one that gets hungry for a live bait will actually eat the dang thing. As I hook myself in the arm. Lord, we in bad shape here. Something happening here. And actually we got one. Oh man, there we go. Oh, that one's pulling, buddy. That one's pulling. This is our last live bluegill right here. Something's after that front rod too. I've sat here a long time. Nothing happening, just enjoying this beautiful weather. I tell you folks, I'm glad it's spring now. We're getting into some warm, well, it was cold this morning, but we've had some warmer afternoons and I can sit out here and not catch fish a lot more comfortably when it's warm. This one here I think is going to be worth catching though. This one here has got a little, little fight to him today. He's got a bad attitude our live crappie is on that front rod i actually raised him up a little while ago to about 20 feet deep because i kept seeing some fish on the screen i don't know what they were but they were around the 20 foot depths so i'm gonna lower him back down here shortly i just thought i'd bring him up there and just in case those were cats that were higher in the water column but this one here I'm pretty sure is a cat and I think we still got something on our front line up there too. I saw this one. I felt this one going, I saw the first one on the front rod get hit and then I felt this one go down when it started pulling me sideways. And he was pulling lines. So I said, we're gonna fight this one first unless one of y'all can teleport through the screen and help an old boy out. See them bubbles coming up, man. Yeah, that's a blue. This one here is a nice fish, buddy. Nice blue cat on the live bluegill. I'm gonna look in the bucket. I'm pretty sure that was the last one. I thought I had two live bluegill. Nice, man. Ooh. Oh, blue cat, splash me now. Could have done without that. I'll tell you what, while he he tires himself out, let's stick him in the rod holder and let's pick up on this. Yeah, this one's on here too. I don't think this one's gonna, actually he may have just come off. Is he foul hooked? Oh Lord, that one there folks, he's on a dang fly. He's a tiny thing down there tiny thing where'd my glove at we'll land this big one i don't even want to fool with that other one oh y'all this back rod oh man there it goes now there it goes oh man oh we've got some fish working through <laughs> i found my glove i ain't needed this thing my gosh we do now this one just went over that little one up there he's tiny man he just ate the dang fly there dangling under the the bait but this one here i think is going to be a little better and then i'll tell you what i want to do before we land any of them is i'm going to drop that crappie down live crappie yeah that's a fun sizer right there okay Again, I had raised this crappie up. You can see where he's at there on the screen, about 15, 20 feet deep. 
I had raised him up because I kept seeing them fish, but clearly he needs to go down there toward the bottom. And I may put another live crappie on too if I ain't got another bluegill in that bucket, which I don't think I do. Well, I tell you folks, man, things can turn in a hurry. Just sitting out here twiddling thumbs, nothing going on. And then boom, we got fish on three rods, just like that. Let me get this big one here first. Okay, Mr. Blue Cat, come on in. Boy, this fish right here, buddy, is long. He's not too heavy for his length, but I mean, he's got some, he's a long fish. Maybe it's just because I've been vacationing and not doing worth a diddly poo when I have been able to fish. I just forgot what they look like, maybe. That's possible, too. Okay. Yeah, y'all. Nice. Nice blue cat. Stripped some line there when he first got going, too, man. That's a good fight. I missed this, y'all. <laughs> it's been a, been a hot minute. I did have fun in Las Vegas, though. Next unedited video I do, I'll tell you some stories from the Las Vegas trip. There's a few. <laughs> this fish says he don't want to hear nothing about no, no Las Vegas stories. He had a taste for live bluegill today and got a hook in the jaw instead. That bluegill's gone. He may have got him though. Get out of here, buddy. We'll see you. He gone. Let's grab this one. This one here ain't a bad fish either. Smaller than that one, but pretty good fish nonetheless. Let's see what all he's got going on here with this hook. Okay. All right. Happy with that. Nice, nice series of events there, y'all. I mean, that's just how it goes when you set up on a spot like this. Fish may or may not be there when you get set up, but you put time into it. They will eventually work through, and they usually come through in a pod, or in a small school, you know, a handful of fish. And that's what's happened here. We had just a group of fish come through, and next thing you know, we've got three, three rods going down. And had I had that crappie, Near bottom, we may have had four. There he is. We'll see you, pal. All right, we got one more here. I was hoping he'd come off. Of course he ain't. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that fly back, fish. I gotta get the dang pliers on that fly, man. I was hoping this fish would pop off, but there wasn't no way that's was gonna happen where that fly was hooked at. There he is, tiny old thing. I got half a mind to use you as bait, but it's your lucky day, fish. All right, y'all, well, here's what we gotta do. We gotta get some baits down there. And we got to do it in a hurry in case they got some more. I don't see anything else on the screen right now, but hell, I never saw them coming. So <laughs> a lot of good it does to have me to have that screen on. Anyway, let's get some more bass down there. And uh, suddenly I'm feeling a lot more optimistic, y'all. Three rods going down. That's pretty fun. It, it, it's not as fun as hitting a jackpot in Las Vegas. At least I assume I didn't do that. But... Uh, Nevertheless, it's a good time either way. All right, we got our cut bait down. There goes us another live crappie down. We out of line, got plenty of cut bluegill or dead bluegill in the cooler there, but we out of the live ones, so. We got the two live crappie that are on the hooks right now. I'm getting caught up with that in there. Where's my sinker at? My sinker beat that. That fish should have swam faster to the bottom. Now we got it where we need to be. But anyway, we got the two live crappie that are on the hooks. 
And I still got one more. Look right here. There's another one of them fish up there. I don't know if you saw that or not. That was swimming around that 10, 15 foot mark. That's what I see and I saw several up. So I brought that live bait up under me there, but nothing ever, nothing ever messed with it. So we know there's some fish working through on bottom by gosh. That's what we're really after is them dang cats. So anyway, two live baits on, we got another one in the bucket there and then we got our cut bait still on the left side. So we got all four rods rebaited. Now we wait right here y'all i don't know how well it's going to show up with the glare but that is a huge school of bait that just moved in here comes some more right here it's from 25 feet down to 40 feet i mean it's just a massive school of, i assume it's bait some kind of fish hopefully that means there's some well i'm dark on the screen hopefully that means there's some life moving in y'all i have sat here now close to two hours since that flurry of activity where we got those fish not even a peck at the bait man nothing going on just sitting here waiting but like like i said earlier there places like this just biding my time man it's just a matter of time you put the you log the hours in here fish eventually work through these areas and if you're on the water when they do you got a chance of catching them but uh but them, them bait right there man it's a school of something. I, I don't know what, but it's a lot of fish. So I would assume, I would assume a school of bait that big. There's probably going to be some predator fish around that somewhere. So hopefully, hopefully we're getting ready to get bit. Oh, my crappie's going crazy up here, y'all. Something got after him. Something's. I had another rod get hit somewhere. Look right here. That crappie man, he's swimming. I wonder if something's got him. I don't think he could swim. I don't know that he could swim that much. At this point in the day, he's been down there. Something's got him, my gosh. Something's got him. Got him or the fly one. This don't feel very big. I bet something's got the fly. Something's got the, oh man, <laughs> that dang, that dang blue cat, man. He got to, he got to fly and knock the crappie off the hook. That crappie had been down there. Oh, he's got my other front line there too. That crappie had been down there all afternoon. Blue cat, you couldn't have fit that crappie in your mouth for love or money. Now you got my other line wrapped all around you. My gosh. Tag gum it. I should have. When I come out here today, y'all, with them, with them, well, I'm dark on that screen. With them live baits, what I should have done is clip them stinger flies off for those because that's happened to me before where i'll have a small fish like that come up eat that fly and then the live bait gets knocked off in the in the fight but uh, i had them stinger fly rigs tied on so we went with it today but that one there unfortunately that one there unfortunately messed up on us I'm gonna get my other line untangled here and I'll drop something else down here for a few more minutes, y'all. It's been a, it's just been a, a battle out here to get these fish to move in here and feed. It's been pretty much dead on that screen and Lord almighty, what a mess that fish has done. There goes some hair from that dang fly, man. I tell you what, that fish had my, he had my line wrapped around that fly and then he had the fly's hair wrapped around the line. That was a dang old mess. But anyway, I'm gonna drop another bait down here. I'm probably only gonna fish maybe 30 more minutes here. That's about all I got time for this evening. But I tell you what, man, it has just been a slow day this afternoon. We had those three fish there work through and I thought, man, it's getting ready to turn on. And then I sat here for 
two plus hours and then I saw a bunch of bait come through on the screen. I mean, just a massive school of something, I assume shad. And I thought, okay, here we go. There's gonna be some fish following that around and then nothing. I know finally got that dink blue there. So it's just been one of them days, but uh, nevertheless, nice to get out here. This wind, it started to pick up a little bit here as the evening has went on, but nowhere near as bad as it has been lately. So nice to be able to get back out on the water and fish comfortably anyway. But uh, nevertheless, y'all, I'm gonna drop another bait down here. Uh, if I get another fish, probably throw it on here as a bonus fish, but I guess I'll just call this the closing here since the uh, my trip's about to wrap up here shortly. So nice to, nice to have a, a day where I could get some fish, make a video for y'all, vacation kind of threw everything off and then mother nature and all, but we're gonna get back on track. For my regular viewers, I promise, we're gonna get back on track here soon. And uh, yeah, y'all, either way, I've had fun today and that's what's most important. So we get another fish, you'll see it next. If not, well, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.